How's it going guys? Panther Films here and today we're going to be reacting to Season 7, Episode 13 of Fear the Walking Dead. This episode is titled... The Raft. Now last episode we lost two major characters, kind of major, John Dory and Howard. Hey, I mean... I guess Fear the Walking Dead has more balls than the main show now. But yeah, John Dory Sr. went out like a savage. He saved baby Mo from the tower, got her to Morgan, and he was bitten in the process because he was trying to make his way through the moat and the protection wasn't enough to save him. And he was also dying because of radiation burns anyway, so he just kind of sacrificed himself. And also, how was a part of that moat? because he was thrown off the roof by John in a previous scene. As usual with the tower, every death has been tied to falling off or being thrown off the roof of the tower or being munched on by zombies in the moat. So, yeah, it's kind of weird that every death has been tied to the tower other than like maybe one or two early on in the season. And now with Mo saved from the tower, I guess the war might start now? Maybe, because, you know, Daniel and Luciano, they've got the Stalker's help. Wes is, for some reason, replacing Howard, and is now the next big bad in the season, which is weird as fuck. I didn't expect that one, but whatever. Um, we also haven't seen Alicia in a few episodes, but I think she was in the promo for this one, and I also think this is a Dwight and Sherry episode, so maybe, maybe we'll see Mickey the Wrestler. Probably not, though, because it is Fear the Walking Dead, and usually they forget about half the cast, and then suddenly the characters come back, and then they disappear again. I don't know why, it's just Fear the Walking Dead in a nutshell, honestly. And also, uh, Charlie's dying from radiation, so we'll have to see if she dies before Madison gets back, or if Madison puts her out of her misery, because I think that would make sense, right? Like a mercy killing, but in the same way, like kind of a revenge killing for her son being killed. It works. I mean, at the end of the day, she's going to die no matter what. Right? It's either a slow, painful death, or a quick one. Right? But yeah. Let's stop doolallying around, and get right into the fucking episode. My god, it's Madison. Alicia. No, it isn't. It's Sherry. I thought it was Alicia, because she had like the, the black gloves on. Oh, there's a raft. Holy shit, should we get Michael from Lost? Okay, well, I got something. We got an SOS. We need another one of Strand's trap. Okay, and what if it's not? What if what, what if it breaks the, the way Strand's been talking about it breaking, huh? Who is that? Are you there? We don't need another fucking character, dude. Stop it. How many years into the apocalypse are you and you fell over a twig? There's, there's plenty of room for you to go in between them. And here, no, who is that? Is that? Sorry, I'm late. Oh. Just in time. You okay? I don't need new characters, dude. Is she gonna die by the end of this one? I swear to God. What? Amaya. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just rude to every new character now because it's like they're gonna die by the end of the episode. You're not from around here, are you? Well, oh, clearly not. How far does the fallout go? No idea. From the tower. Trust me, you, you don't want to go there. Look, there's bad blood, but that shouldn't keep you from going. What the hell, dude? I mean, what? About to go to war with him. Yeah, I know. You think we're going to lose? Well, yeah. It's just us. Well, I mean, I mean, I said this with the promo for this episode. Like, Vic and that were outmanned and, and outgunned, but they managed to win the war. Sherry? We're on it. Where are you? I'm on the intercoastal road up a couple of miles north of the Pennsylvania. You need us to take them out? Ah, so this is happening at the same time. I hate how the colour's different where Dwight Why and Cherry are versus where Morgan is. Now. What the How did he get that many to come after him? How does that make sense? There was none coming after him last episode. What? Huh? There was none following him last episode. So, John Dory's sacrifice was for nothing. Hey, we need to place down some walkers, a lot of them. Crater, are, are those people found? Did I mess up back there? Fuck's sake, looks so stupid, the, the bouncing up and down. You think we're gonna lose this fight, don't you? But if we don't take the tower, 
Are we going to be able to have any of that? Find somewhere else. Just leave Texas, dude. If Morgan leads all these back to the... I mean, how soft was that walker's head? It just squished like a melon. Not even a melon, it was, it was like a softball. There was no brain in there, there was no skull in there, it just flattened. He gave his life so that she could escape. Everybody else is still in there. Strands felt safe in that tower because of the walkers around it. How did they all get pulled off there? Oh shit! They, they were warning shots. They, they could have easily killed all them then. That baby isn't even fucking moving. Give me your gun. What? What are you talking about? Here, come here and take it. I don't think they're reading the same. Tay leaves as you. Come on. Why is the writing so bad? How the fuck did Strand's people get killed there? Who is that? I don't need another new character, dude. I'm afraid we're gonna have to ask you to get out of our way. Well, what? You won't kill me. Oh, is that Wes? Why is he suddenly the bad guy? Do you really care about protecting Strand? I care about surviving. If you help us take down the tower, we'll pretend like you never even left. You think I'm doing this because I'm on a power trip? Well, yep. This is your last warning. What the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> While you're sitting there by your lonesome, waiting for your cavalry to come. Take a minute. Think about what I said. It's a good shot, though. Uh, I always... Oh! Uh oh, Morgan. Why the fuck would she sneak up on him like that? Why didn't she just shout his name? Hey! Over here! Found what you were looking for? I found the transmitter. Got these dead to follow me at the same time. Why are we gonna make our move? I told you to wait for me. We didn't know where you were. The tower was unguarded at least until dark. Is Alicia fucking dumb? I'm gonna go... We're going to war. Wait for me before the war begins. Wait for me. You you started the war. We're not waiting for you. We, we've got to act. Or else we'll die. The least I can do is get these walkers to follow you. Well, this this makes sense, though, with what Morgan's doing. It didn't make sense with what you were doing, Galicia. Oof. Uh, that CG in the background was terrible. The lighting difference between the characters and the walkers was poo. I'm trying to keep us alive here. I'm trying to show her a reason to stay alive. It's just hard for me to see you with her like this. We're not gonna have that. What? Open the hatch and prepare to lock down the sub. Don't come to the Pennsylvania. Well, why not? What's going on? The engineering compartment is starting to leak radiation. Well, there goes the sub. Now they don't have a base of operations. Wait, right, let's see. I'll take that. Get no, me. I got it. No, you get, get her. Me. No, why? why? What's in there? Nothing. Okay, well, let me see it. Like, why is she gonna act sus like she? You could have just let him take it. The hell are these? Why not just tell him? You're gonna leave after all this. No. Oh. I'm gonna leave with you. Isn't for me. It's for you. I don't want you to turn into the person that you don't want to be. We've been over this before, okay? Oh. It's, it's not gonna make it any better by like acting behind his back and doing it in secret. Like, hoo -hoo. just tell him up straight. You actually think I'm throwing him straight, don't you? Oh, he ain't gonna do that. Why won't do that, dude? I'll tell you what's bullshit. Oh, Make fuck off. Stay ahead of us. What do we get if we hand her over? Dave. No, if you think this is how we're gonna end up, we might as well get something out of it. Hmm. Pick her up. Oh. Oh. Here we go, Where's Dwight. Coming back from the main show. Yeah, that, I mean, that was obvious as fuck. How do you go? Go, go, go. Dwight, why'd you turn your back? Dude, what the fuck is that baby? It was like flopping around. <laughs> that was a walk of ass right there, did you see it? Where are the walkers? Am I being stupid? Like, are they to the left? We were following one of those things. You know, the there's none there! Bright and Cherry said there's a crater that's got a bunch of them already trapped in it, so... I mean, if you're going closer towards the crater, shouldn't you be wearing a mask right now? You're gonna take her away from here. Well, yeah, it's the safest thing you can do. I left some folks I cared about once before, and it has never sat right with me. Then why the fuck did you do it? Fucking crossover for no reason. No, we're not ready. Why? 
Why not? We're Nobody. outnumbered. No shit. But you started this war, Alicia. What? The walkers just appeared. All right, fair enough. Oh, he's still out there. I just slowed him down. That's fucking shit. It's complicated. Why don't you just tell me what's going on, huh? Hey, does anybody know where that bunker is? Uh, the one Teddy locked up Alicia in? We just found it. Why would you put that through the radio, though? Hey, the Rangers might have heard that. We, we have our gas masks will be protected, and Morgan said that thing. Please, for the love of Christ, don't make it so Dwight and Chevy die. I think I might be pregnant. That makes sense. What a weird time to bring that up. Yeah, that's going to fix it. How, how long do you think it's been? A couple weeks. We'll find your test. I already took a test. And? I haven't looked at it yet. I'm gonna wait for the moment. You're waiting for this episode? You know, I want our child to know you, not the person that Strand would turn you into. The thing is, though, I don't think Strand would turn Dwight. What Negan did to Dwight was very different. Negan took Sherry as his wife, you know, and burnt Dwight's face. Like, what's Strand gonna do? Strand's either gonna throw you off the roof or tell you to fuck off. Okay, at least the. They're wearing their masks. What the right and cherry thing? Well, where are all the walkers? Ew! Huh. It's Alicia's weapon. They're still looking for a place to dump the walkers. Dump them in the bunker, maybe? Why would you go through that, Dwight? So literally how Alicia got bit. The horses are right outside. They have to be down here. How did- What do you mean the horses? Didn't they run here? Come on, keep coming! Keep coming. Come on. How did you not see them? Oh, they did the blood, blood splatter. Um, but like, it's like every character's peripherals just not work. Oh. No. No, there's no way. Right, when a walker's right next to you, dude, yeah, use your rifle and not your foot. Like, do what Wes is doing. Use your fucking melee weapons. Jesus Christ. How, lo how long have you been in the apocalypse for and you're still using guns in close range? Oh, no, this is exactly how Alicia got stuck. Oh. Da -da -da -da. But, I mean, what's gonna happen now? <laughs> she's gonna both die? It's not gonna end like this. <sighs> oh, now she's not with Because I know what I might have to do to strand him, and I'm not sure I can. Then why did you even start this? <laughs> that, no, hey, hey. I can't get over it. Every time they do that, it, you can tell it's a doll. I gotta do what Alicia and Grace asked me to do and get Mo as far away from here as possible. Yeah, but where are you gonna take her? Take her out? Drive around the block a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan's leaving? Hey, I'll, I'll go back to the mansion. I mean, there's only eight episodes left, so it's not gonna happen. You're gonna see me again. See, when you say stuff like that, Alicia, usually that means we won't see you again. So she, I, it would, it, would they kill her off? Don't, don't do it. They kill her off before they bring Madison back. You know, you could get on there too. Because now we have something to fight for. And you didn't before? Like, you didn't want to fight for each other? Really? That, what a weird decision. Like, out of all the characters to lead, Morgan. Follow me! Well, I guess now Alicia takes over. I mean, that's good. But at the same time, that's kind of worrying. She becomes a leader she's always meant to be. And that gets her killed. Also, they had more people than that, didn't they? That's really not a lot of people. To new beginnings. Was there more stalkers there? What the hell's going on up there? It's over. No! Wait, did, did Strand shave? <laughs> so it, it seems like Alicia's gonna be infiltrating the tower and then taking out people to get the antenna working. See, this episode is very similar to the last episode for me. You know, it's not the worst shit I've ever seen, but it also wasn't great. You know, it's just, eh, it's just, eh, there's not much to it, really. Like, 
There's good shit in there. There's potential for some great stuff. But it's overshadowed by the shit writing and poor character decisions. And the budget itself like, was definitely showing this episode. Let's just, just point that out. Like, it just doesn't make sense why Wes is suddenly Team Strand. Right? Like, the poor dialogue between Alicia and Morgan. Like, I told you to wait. It's like, bitch, we... You started this war. You you threatened Strand with with that statement. You said we're going to war, and fucking how many episodes later? Like six six episodes later, we're finally going to war. Jesus Christ! Like that's the problem with these shows, man. Like yet again, building up to the finale. Like we're not gonna see shit kick off until like episode fifteen or sixteen. But like, I think we'll get, like, the first half of, like, the big battle next episode. But 15 and 16 will be, like, the wrap-up, which is bullshit. You have to wait a whole season for this tower storyline to wrap up. Morgan's gone now. Like, I understand why he left, like, he promised Grace. But the fact is that that promise only appeared in this episode. We never saw that last episode, it just randomly comes up in this one. And it, it was the same thing with last episode, where this radiation burn on John Dory just appeared out of nowhere. Like, it wasn't, like, teased or hinted at beforehand, there was no foreshadowing of it, of anything. It just randomly happens in an episode. And that's the problem with the writing, there's no foreshadowing. It's just, shit happens at random times. And that's a big problem with this show. You know, it's it's the writing, the pace of the season. Like while I do think some of the shots are, are decent and some of the acting is fucking great, like especially with uh, Dwight and Sherry, that that was great acting. But that doesn't save a show. At the end of the day, it all comes down to the writing. The story is the most important when it comes to a TV show and a movie. Like you have some, you can have some great shots, you can have some decent CGI. But at the end of the day, who gives a fuck about the film? Or show if the story is shit. Like, Fear the Walking Dead just literally feels like filler in between the main show, you know? Like, it's just like, oh, it's something to watch, but it's not pulling me in every week. Like, I'm genuinely bored every week because it's just like, nothing's happening, dude. And it doesn't have to be action-packed because clearly there was some action-packed shit that was happening in this episode. But at the end of the day, it was fucking stupid because how are you telling me that the Rangers have all this range with all these walkers and then they manage to get eaten. And then when they don't have range, they use their guns instead of their, like, knives and melee weapons. It's just like, what is this poor, poor writing? It's like season eight levels of Walking Dead writing. Like, a lot of the saviors were just doing stupid shit, like... Why are you using your guns, or why is, like, Carol... You know, remember episode... Season 8, episode 4, when Carol had them two saviors and they were hiding behind the truck, right? Carol, just lie down. Just lie down on the ground and shoot them. Like, you can you can see their legs from underneath the truck. Just, just lie down and shoot them. Nope, nope. Doesn't make sense to do. I just don't understand, like, some of the character decisions and some of the choreography and some of the, like, action set pieces that they tried to do and just failed miserably at. It just feels like they've voted themselves into a corner. It's like they're doing a checklist. Like, season six, what should we do for the end of season six? Ooh, nuke. And then they do it. And then it's like, um, what do we do for this nuclear storyline? Oh, we do what the main show did. Uh, we just have, like, episodes dedicated to, like, two or three characters, but in a terrible paced manner. It's like, okay, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, what else should we do? We'll make the Strand the villain. And it's like, oh, all right, that, that seems like a good idea. Then what? Well, there's going to be two sides. There's going to be Strand's side, and then there's going to be Morgan's side, and they're going to go to war. And then Morgan's group is going to take over the tower so they can be safe. And it's like, oh, hasn't the main show done something like that before? It's like, yeah, 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 but um, ours is different because it's a nuclear wasteland. It's like, is that it? That, like honestly I'm just curious what the writers room talk about in them sessions because that's gotta be fucking stupid it's like what what are, what are we doing here dude like fuck like Morgan's on a raft going nowhere 
And even if he goes somewhere, like, he's still going to be in that region. Right? He's not going to fucking end up in Virginia. And plus, even then, if he does have, end up in Virginia, he's still, like, what, seven plus years behind the main show? Maybe he finds, like, a CRM ship? Because we do know that Vic was on a ship at some point. Maybe this is how they're going to write Morgan out of Fear the Walking Dead and maybe bring him into the movies. Is have him leave and then get captured by CRM. And then him and Vic can reunite in the movie. And then you can wrap up their stories in that movie, which would make sense. I mean, you can't have Morgan and Vic not interact again. Like, they began this journey with each other, right? Even though it doesn't really make sense that Morgan would leave, though. Like, I said it in the reaction, like, why why would he leave the group he's been leading for a while just to save baby Mo? Like, I, I could understand it, like, saving the child, but, I don't know, like, all these people you've got close with, and then you're just like, yeah, I'm going now, see ya. Because I promised Grace something that wasn't foreshadowed or teased last episode. Just randomly came up. Sherry's pregnant. You know, they talked about starting a family in, uh, was it episode six? We'll see how long that lasts, because there's only so long you can be happy in the Walking Dead universe until it all comes crumbling down. Because don't forget, Grace was pregnant, and we all know how that turned out. I feel like Strand's going to do something petty and just blow up the tower. Like, if I can't have it, nobody can have it. Maybe they'll kick Strand out of the tower. And I, there's no way it'd be just as simple as, like, we take over the tower and then it's over. Like, if the tower falls, where are you going to go? Because we do know that they're relocating um, Fear the Walking Dead to Savannah, I think. So, clearly they're going to have to change locations up. So, whether they're going to actually leave Texas in the story... We'll have to see, or they're just using Savannah as, like, a Texas replacement because maybe filming in Texas is a bit expensive and doing the production there is a bit expensive. I don't know. Like, they have all this cool, like, scope of, like, oh, the nuclear wasteland. But the nuclear wasteland is so inconsistent. You know what I mean? Like, like this place is ruined. This place is fine. This place that was close to the nuke is perfectly fine. It just doesn't make sense. Like, I, I don't think they realised that there was multiple nukes and missiles that landed. It wasn't just one. There's only one crater. Why is there only one crater? There was more n missiles that hit. But whatever. Also, the all the walkers from the crater are gone now. Now, whether or not that's because Arno took the walkers, or CRM. I'm, I'm grasping good straws there. There's no way. I could... Ah, no, nah, that, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a game theory there. What if, you know that horde that um, Kublik used to take out, um, oh, fuck, I forgot the city, but the city in season two of World Beyond that they used, you, you know, they blew up the walls and stuff and they, and they had that massive horde. What if part of that horde was from Fear the Walking Dead, from the crater? Because why would you even set up something like that? Like, oh, the horde's gone. Someone let them out. Okay, who? I mean, that's a that's me grasping at straws there, but it'd be a cool way to have like that connective tissue there. The only problem is, is like the distance there. Like Texas to Omaha is not exactly close, especially with a massive horde. Because someone let them out. I'm I'm either going with Arno, Strand, or CRM, or maybe a new group that's going to be in next season. Or maybe it was Madison. Also, let me point out something. Where's Mickey? Like we had Dwight and Chevy in this episode, right? And the VCAP showed the episode that Mickey was in. And they mentioned Mickey last episode. But she wasn't in that final shot of the episode where, like, Alicia's leading the pact and you've got all these people together. Mickey wasn't there. Do the writers just forget about characters that they introduce? Like, they did it this episode. They randomly introduced this um, character, this random survivor that survived 
on a boat somewhere and got rid of him in the same scene. Like, she didn't die, but at the end of the day, like, is she going to be impactful next episode? Is she going to do anything next episode? Probably not. Because, I mean, that's Fear the Walking Dead, isn't it? Like, they just completely underutilised characters and introduced random characters for no reason. Well, that wraps up my shitty review and me shitting on the episode as a whole. But at the end of the day, you can't really blame me because the show has been fucking terrible this season and I don't see where we're going. <sighs> Is it too much to ask for for a good TV show? So I out, AMC. Get better writers, get better showrunners, or cancel the show. If you can't fix what's broken, then get rid of it. We'll have to see if next episode improves, but I feel like I say that every week and most of the time it doesn't. Fuck me. Hope you enjoyed the video guys and I will see you in the next one. Toto in fear.